Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about The Walking Dead Season 4, the final season, and basically I want to talk about like what they talk about PAX and um, East 2018, and I just want to give you my opinions and what they said. Now they talked about episode 1, um, well not episode 1, but they talked about the characters and the concept art which I'll be showing you and they showed new characters like Marlin, Louise, Violet, Tan, and it showed a dog named Rose, or Rose or whatever. So I want to talk about Marlin and Marlin looks like a hardened character and obviously we can see um, her dog Rose or his dog Rose and I wonder what type of character they're gonna like you know like be like because obviously it looks like since they're gonna be like hard characters it looks like they're gonna like be kind of like be lead the leader in a way and they're like in charge and Marlin looks like around 16 or 17 I don't know um basically with all the concepts art that we've been shown they're all kids and they go to this boarding school well not go but they live there and they've been living there this whole time and They've kind of gotten used to like wh what they do around there, and they definitely know like what to do, and they seem pretty smart. They, they kind of seem like they have Clem's knowledge level, and that's really nice because we've been like around stupid kids. No offense, in season one with Duck, he was like kind of like the full free kid, which who didn't care about the zombies, which he still did, but we still have fun. While season two we had Sarah, who did not know anything about the Walkers, which was just terrible, but she was still a good character to be around, kind of like a positive character. And then season three we had Gabe, and um, with Gabe he was definitely kind of like a he was like a complex character, like really complex, but he was still a cool character in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, so it probably won't matter to anyone. And all these characters, it, and, and with season 4, it seems like they want to make the whole cast of characters so far. So far, um, season f um, just kids so far. Um, which would be kind of like an interesting concept. Um, it really depends if they do it correctly like I don't want to be like just them like fighting all the time I actually want to get like a relationship with them and yeah basically I want to talk about Louise um, who is holding an old life and it's supposed to be like a funny flirty type of person and Louise definitely looks like that type of person who really is into style like he's just trying to live life and just can try, try and continue on what he's doing and it seems and they mentioned how Louise and Clementine would definitely get along which would be interesting also because they definitely do seem like they would be the type of person to be friends with and basically the next character I want to talk about was Violet who is to the point um, who is serious and sarcastic and she doesn't have a plan really, just like Jane, which is kind of interesting because Jane, she did not know anything like what she wanted to do with her life. Like Jane, she was just Jane. Like she didn't like she went in season two, she like left the group, and then in season like two, she came back, which is crazy because we would have imagined she would have been gone. Well, to be honest, probably not. But yeah, seeing her return was kind of funny because she obviously didn't know like what she wanted to do with her life, and she knew that Clem time was basically her main purpose in life. And that's what I want to talk about. Maybe Violet will be like a um, Jane towards Clum Time, and maybe um, Clum Time will try to like remind Violet that she had a friend named Jane, who killed herself or either died trying to like yeah. Okay, basically I want to talk about the next character who is Ten, who is a really weird kid. Um, by the way, it looks um, he is apparently a young sweet kid. Um, and they mention how some of these kids possibly like swear a lot and not swear at all and they're like religious or whatever but I doubt it so far because uh, I think there are going to be more kids than four I could be wrong there could be just four kids but they, by the way they sound like it seems like there could be more kids involved that we don't know of and basically he's about 10 to 11 years old 10 get a 10 10 like 11 10 um strange things weapon Apparently his face is like burned and we don't know why but they did mention that he will have like a backstory in episodes 2 to 3 So that would be interesting because they mentioned more that episode um, 1 would be more about the boarding school like knowing more about them While episodes 2 to 3 would be about Clunt's background which means like like yeah her background and also I want to show gameplay footage of like the first gameplay they've shown and this is like the first gameplay they've shown of um I'm not going to show the actual gameplay yet of like the um the um when they're testing out Clem but the way the, the game looks and like a better quality instead of a camera. Now they showed they talked about it being the ink black look and it's definitely going to represent more of the comic book look because season 3 tried to represent the comic book look but it didn't look like the comic book look enough. 
but it seems like for season 4 they're definitely changing the style of the comic book look and that's really interesting because I thought they were gonna just copy like a new frontier basically but they're making it really different so well probably um so that's nice. I'm not sure if they're gonna use the Unreal Engine. I believe this is Unreal Engine gameplay we're seeing, so maybe it look maybe that's why it looks kinda different. Maybe maybe that's why it looks more comic booky. So that's kinda like a nice style. Now they mentioned how the season start season four starts off with AJ, which is really interesting because what I wanted to talk about was why would we start off with AJ? I'm not sure what they mean by starting off with AJ. I'm not sure if it means like the time lapse of a year or two. And then it'll be like, oh, we're with AJ all of a sudden just walking the forest. Or is it going to be like Clem being at the McKellar Ranch and then seeing, oh, look, there's AJ. Like, I'm not sure if like the whole plot at the beginning of the episode is Clem getting AJ from McKellar Ranch because that would be pretty nice if they did something like that. Like, they, they start off the episode with Clem trying to steal AJ from McKellar Ranch and finding out that they're actually dangerous because I personally thought that the McKellar Ranch would have been the main cast of season four, but doesn't look like it to me. It could be possible that Mikhail Lynch could be maybe like the main antagonist of season 4, but they said that then again they were like a nice family so who knows. But definitely they could change the plot a little. That's what I'm seeing. And also they mentioned how Lee and Clem won't be a rehash of AJ and Clem. So basically it won't, AJ won't represent Clementine, younger Clementine, and Clementine won't represent, and Lee won't represent Clementine. Um, they're definitely gonna make it like a different relationship, which is really nice because I was afraid that they were gonna like just copy season one with the relationships of maybe like oh Clem dies in the end, AJ still survives, but it seems like they're kind of making it like different. Now I'm not sure how the um, kids will react to AJ being this young, but since they're all kids, it seems like this is kind of like a good um, storyline so far. But I don't want to get my expectations up with the kids because. They did mention that there will be other new characters, um, but they can't talk about them yet. So I was thinking that the adults could have been like the antagonists, like maybe a group, but they can't reveal yet. I personally think that the Mikhail Ranch would be a great antagonist um, of season four because with season four, um, they captured AJ, and or they didn't technically capture AJ, but you know what I mean. That would be really nice in my opinion if they were to do something like that. Um, that I'm trying to get AJ back. That would be really nice. And they also mentioned that there will be more explanation, explorations like season 1, there, so there will be more puzzles and more control. I think that's really nice and that's a good move on their hand because definitely season 1 was really good with the season because you were able to explore a lot and talk to different characters. Season 2 had a little bit of it but it didn't have enough as season 1 did. And then season 3 it just had cutscenes and you couldn't just do anything which wasn't that great. And it really seems like with season 4 they're trying to go back to the old season 1 route which is something that I'm really happy with. Now they um um now Clem time's supposed to be sixteen I believe so this is like about maybe a two or one year time skip which seems pretty logical to me it seems like I think this is like at the time of the comic book because I think the comic books did something recently that led to a time skip I'm not too sure um, I have to check with my resources first to see if that's true but obviously with um, I'm gonna show you the gameplay footage first and then I'll give you guys my opinion. Now basically what I wanted to talk about in this footage is that Clem Time is obviously has no hat on and AJ isn't there. Like what happened to AJ? Maybe AJ could be at the boarding school with the kids, who knows, but why would Clem trust them that easily if Clem just met them? That's just my overall question and it really seems like um, Clem, and obviously you can see AJ, um, Clem doesn't have her hat which maybe she gave to AJ or something as like a memory to remember him before she goes off to the world and tries to do whatever she's doing because Obviously, we don't know if AJ is going to be captured again, which I really hope they don't do because 
they already did uh, AJ being captured in season 3 and just for them to do that again is kind of bullshit in my opinion because we were just at the end of season 3 where oh AJ's, uh, Clem's gonna find AJ and if Clem already has AJ don't make him get captured again and then make it a whole season or whatever. I feel like that would be kind of silly and you can definitely see that the gameplay kind of looks like Life is Strange which it, um let me remind you, this is really early gameplay footage. Like the gameplay footage won't end up looking like this. That's just my um. That's just what I want to say. It even has a disclaimer that this is like really early gameplay footage in the actual video itself. Now, obviously, the gameplay is kind of like not good quality because this was recorded on the phone since it was tax exclusive. But that's what I want to talk about. Basically, you can see Clem is going into like a cabin, and in a way, I think that's the train station. If I'm correct, I'm not too so sure. And you can definitely see that there's like a walker and you can see that she was able to pick up a brick. Now I don't think the gameplay at the end will look like Life is Strange. I think, like I said, it's just early gameplay footage. I think they said something about open world, I'm not too sure, but I keep seeing I keep seeing everyone say open world, open world, but I doubt it's gonna be open world. I think it's just like maybe a bigger hub area, maybe more than season two and season one. That's just my opinion and they mentioned about Javier in season 4 and they talked about, um, uh, someone asked the writer a question if Javier will be in season 4 and she said I don't know. Now I don't want to say that this is a no that the uh, Garcia family won't return for season 4 but I feel like that's still like an open for them like they can still include them somehow. I don't want them to include them like in the story but maybe if they could be like an actual ending or something that would be pretty nice because if they don't do anything with the new frontier at all in season 4, at, at least in episode 5, because I feel like that's like the reasonable episode they should do it in, then I feel like the the, the a new frontier is kind of like wasted in a way, kind of like Wellington is wasted in a way, but that's just my overall opinion. I'm not saying that a new frontier has to be included, but at least mention choices that we made in new frontier. Maybe like Clem Time's Finger obviously, or her forehead, and all that types of stuff, that's what I want to be mentioned. And the skull in the cheek, that would be really interesting to see. Now, it, with the concept of oh, it's in boarding school and obviously we see Clem with her long hair in the gameplay, I just want to mention that because that's the time skip obviously, and you can see her clothes are torn. Okay, back to the boarding school. Now obviously the boarding school seems to be really like deserted, it almost looks like they wasted the whole thing because they used everything they um, at the boarding school, they even used like all the furniture probably to make a campfire. I think that's what they said in the um, PAX exclusive gameplay. And I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with all these characters, that, especially with Ten, because they mentioned how he was gonna have like a backstory in episode like episodes two to three. I hope they don't do like flashbacks or anything because I feel like if they do flashbacks on all these characters, it would be kind of stupid in a way. Um, Maybe if it will be good depending on how they show it, but I really don't feel like they should show flashbacks. I just want to play just as Clem for now. Um, because maybe the flashbacks could give us like maybe like an understanding of these characters. But I, for now, I'm just going to say no flashbacks at all. Maybe just a McKill Ranch flashback of Clem getting AJ because that would be interesting to see the beginning of the episode of Clem getting AJ. That's just my overall opinion and I really hope they do something good with these characters because I'm just afraid since they're just kids, they won't actually make like an impact um, because everyone just sees them as kids but it could be a great world because Clem could interact with someone her age because in all the seasons she's interacted with adults and I'm not saying it was bad but it will be interesting to see a new point of view of Clem. So yeah. That's just what I'm going to talk about. Um, I think they'll be using a Unity engine for this season, so this could be interesting on how the game will look like differently. And yeah, that's all I want to talk about season 4 of The Walking in the Final Season. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope they will show more stuff in the future. I think it'll be likely that they'll show more stuff at E3, possibly, because I don't think this game is going to come out in the summer. They said like Q2 like slash summer. That was just a software after you got fired or whatever. But I think they will kinda get go be late, maybe September, late September. That's just my overall opinion. Um maybe they'll come out like late 2018 and maybe the Wolf Among Us will be delayed. I'm not so sure, but that's what I'm thinking of for now and yeah, I'm gonna end it here and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I definitely enjoyed this and I'll see you guys later. Um bye.